So obviously the pandemic has decimated the travel industry with the first rule that came out where uh, travelers had to have a PCR test on departure to come into Canada was one thing. And then when they changed the rules to cancel and suspend all flights from the sun destinations, now travelers are required to have um, a negative pre-departure test as well as a negative test when they get into Canada. And then they have to spend at least three nights in a government approved hotel until they get their test results back before they can actually travel home. And then they will have to um, isolate for another 14 days. So because of that, the travel industry um, has it's not in a good place. We're pretty much dead in the water. And now, basically, they're just not letting any travel go through. And, and so for you as an agency, how does that affect you? Well, I started uh, 2020 on pace to exceed my two, 219 sales and in March everything just halted. Um, I have clients that were supposed to travel in 2020 and they now have future travel vouchers that are valid until you know 2023, 24. Um, I received no commission on these bookings until clients travel even though hours of work has already gone into booking, rebooking, canceling, securing travel credits. Um, so trip canceled with refunds obviously resulted in commission recalls, which means money going out and none coming in. It's really hard for you to stay afloat then. Oh, absolutely. Because I still have, you know, fees and, um, things that I have to pay to my host agency to be able to work and still be viable as a travel agent. I believe the pandemic has led people to see the value of travel agents instead of handling their own planning themselves. I've had calls from people who've booked online and they've had to wait on the phone for hours to get answers. Where we as travel agents, that's part of our job. That's what we do. And we can probably get better answers and a quicker result to having their problems. The one thing that I will say about booking for next year, if you want to book for 2020-22, do it now. The deals are better, early booking bonuses, and if something happens and we can't travel in 2022, I hope not, um, you'll get a future travel cut voucher or a refund. So it's better to book ahead if you want something in particular because it may not be available by the end of the year.